This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com. Andy Moore Crispin here at CES 2010. Bumped into Brad, who's going to tell us a little bit about the Nokia N900. Hey, Greg, great to be here, guys. So maybe we'll start out with a little of the hardware specs. And Please, it looks, like, it looks like a pretty compelling little smartphone. We're very excited about it. So 32 gig onboard storage there, okay. so expandable via micro SD as well, another 16 gig cards here, essentially talking about, you know, 48 gig walking out of the box right. with it there. So uh, we can put our videos and our music and all that stuff. Absolutely, tons of music and video on there. Full QWERTY keyboard as well. Uh, other things on there, let's see, we've got your integrated camera there, so it's got a Carl's Ass dual LED flash lens on there. So you open that up, it's got a nice little cover for it as well. So One of the things I really like pocket. is that I think the thing you're going to get to next, which is this, the right, kickstand. Right? Right. It's always the little touches that, that kind of get me, because it's like it shows that people are thinking about how a phone is supposed to be used. Right. So I really like that little Really kickstand. personalizing the experience and allow you, you know, innovative ways to actually Absolutely. watch your videos and things on there. So definitely so on that. Other things that I think are really exciting too, you think about the fact it's three and a half inch jack. Right. So non-proprietary. Man, you got a great set of headphones you want to use? No worries, man. Just plug them in and go. Yeah, because all too often uh, the cell phone, cell phone companies will kind of make their own little stupid little dongles. You got to always keep that with you. Where you exactly. Can music. Less wires. And you know, and on that same topic there, you're talking about less wires. Uh, micro USB for, okay. for charging and for um, data transfer. Great, great, So, great. I mean, one less wire again. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, so now let's have a little look at the uh, at the software that runs this thing. I understand this is Nokia first ever open source uh, smartphone running on an open source platform, running on a, a version of Linux. Uh, yes and no. So Symbian is actually open source. Now, oh, it is? Okay. We bought it. But um, as far as Linux-based open source there, that's what this is built on. So it's actually called MIMO 5. Okay. And it's a Linux-based operating system okay. there. So wide open. Some of the cool things I actually went into this screen right here is true multitasking. So you think about a mobile computer in your pocket. Right. This is it, man. 600 megahertz processor on this bad boy. It can really scoot. So you've got this for some easy touch. Uh, other things that are really nice, fully panoramic home screens. Okay. So you've got four home screens that you can totally customize for the for the you know the the consumer experience, which really makes it nice. I really it, like the looks of these home screens with the kind of widgets, and we can see what our friends are doing on social media. Exactly. We can kind of put our favorite websites there. We can do kind of the things that we want to do. I always like it when people are thinking about the, the way I want to use my phone. I can kind of customize it, put the things that I want there. So sorry, please continue. No, no, I'm glad to hear you say it. Hey, you can talk about that all you want. So and, you know, that's one of the things that we're really excited about. You think about our over services as well yeah. and everything that falls under that umbrella with maps, music, media, messaging and games. We're really tying the two together to be a true mobile solution. Right. So it's not just the device, right? It's the services that go along with it and the social aspects Absolutely. that really make it positive. And that's one of the things you talked about there too. So you see, if you can see on some of these different contexts here, look at Laura's, that little green dot next to her. It has I am baked into it as well. So you talk about you can add your Skype account in there, you can add your Jabber account, right. your Google Talk. So multiple OB ways chat. to connect with the same person on, exactly. the, on the one device. Exactly. So you can easily get in you you know, you have your normal methods, but it also shows how calling with Skype or chatting with ObiChat. So I could actually go into her message there, and we've got a conversation going, and I can live chat on her right now with what's going on. It shows a conversation stream as well. So it's really nice when you're receiving text messages or things Definitely. or whatnot. You get like four or five in a row, and you're like, man, who did, where did that come exactly. from? They're all falling under that context, Perfect. so that makes it And nice. it's always hard at a show like CES. It's always hard to keep in touch with your cohorts. I can see that very, being very handy. Now, one of the things that I'm excited about here is that it's running the Fennec browser, the, yes. the mobile version of Firefox. So I I understand that you have butterscotch.com kind of sitting here ready to go, so let's have a quick look at that. Absolutely, let's pull it up here. So we do actually have the, the, the Butterscotch page pulled up on here, and let me bounce right into it. The other thing you'll notice with on this screen, full flash support, so flash ah, 9.4. That's important, because we it. see here, any other, oh, I, I think I touched something there. Any other, any other um, most other mobile browsers, our videos won't play in their native form, which is a flash format. Right. Uh, we, we saw the Butterscotch kind of flowing loader. We can actually watch our videos on this device. Absolutely. So for that reason alone, every single Butterscotch viewer out there should maybe go and uh, have a look at this one. No, I totally agree. I mean, other things too. You do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what am I going to say, right? <laughs> so other things like neat gesturing as far as within the browser, how you zoom in and zoom out. I can zoom in and zoom out oh, like that with my fingers. So that's kind of a cool way to do it. I think it's important to mention here that we're using a capacitive touch screen, but it is very finger friendly. That all too often, or sorry, a, um, a resistive touch screen. Correct. So a capacitive is the one where you can kind of touch it with your fingers. This is the resistive technology, which traditionally is a little sluggish, but we, I haven't noticed any of this with, that, with, with any of that with this phone. I find it really kind of responsive to, to finger gestures and the kind of things, the way I want to use it with my fingers. Right. You know, of course, resistive being pressure sensitive, yeah. right? So it takes a little bit, you know, you got to push a little bit harder. But in my personal opinion, that really helps with the accuracy. Yeah. And I feel like I'm able to, you know, really get pinpoint on what I want to bring I out. I found I was really able to kind of use it the, the, way, I, the way I want to use it without kind of 
battling the uh, without battling the touch screen. Right. So how much is this guy? 569 is what we're listing. And right where now. are we going for more information on this device? NokiaUSA.com. You can also go to MIMO.org on there and they'll have plenty of information on the OS and what's going on. There's some really exciting things coming on with there as well. So a lot of different ways. NokiaUSA.com, there's other uh, third party carriers. I believe it's on Dell. I think you can get it from Amazon.com. Okay, as fantastic. Well. So we're gonna try and get one of these guys on Gadget TV in the not too distant future. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for your time. Thank you. This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssistExpress. Learn more at gotoassistexpress.com.